गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई पंकज तुमका वेलकम्स यू ऑल टू दिस सेशन ऑन पाइथन फॉर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर्स टुडे एज डिस्कस इन लास्ट क्लास दैट आई शुड टॉक अबाउट मैथ मॉड्यूल सो देर आर इन बिल्ड फंक्शन अवेलेबल इन पाइथन बट वेन वी कम टू सम स्पेसिफिक मैथमेटिकल फंक्शन सो दे आर नॉट देयर फॉर दैट मैटर वट वी डू इज वी इम्पोर्ट दिस मॉड्यूल और in rough sense you can say library where the functions of uh, mathematics like pi exponential square root absolute degree radian they all are available and in majority of the cases the functions which we will be using are like sin cos tan trigonometric functions exponential then this pi and so on so let us start with the today's discussion and uh, let us open a new notebook and name this notebook as math function so as this is your first instance of using a module so let me tell you that how to use a module so for say i am using or i am calling this particular function or module which is already there in jupiter and if it's not then you have to add it so it's available with me so i am simply calling from math import start this is one of the way in which you can call this particular module that is from math module you have to import star means everything this is how i use but there is another way some people simply say import math now let me start with this and tell you the difficulty which i faced not difficulty exactly but in a somewhat long way so how to proceed so if i want uh, let us say the value of pi if i simply write pi so pi is there defined in math but you cannot write pi like this you have to write math dot pi so that is what if you press shift enter that is run this cell you will be getting this particular value of pi and you know this is correct now the thing is you have to write this math dot so to uh, remove this uh, difficulty what people say instead of writing this they can alias it they can uh, name it small that is import math as let us say ma so whenever you are saying ma dot it will be understanding that you are, you want to call this math so for example in this case if i write ma dot pi so it will be returning me the same answer okay but there is another way which is much more simpler and at the same time uh, i feel better to uh, use this particular uh, way of calling a function or module sorry so that is from math import star that means from math import everything whatever is there whatever functions are there in the math module you import all so here now you needn't have to write math dot or ma dot like so you simply write pi and that's it it will be giving you the result so remember whenever you want to use math functions you have to import this math module so let us say i want to evaluate this uh, abs fabs or abs so now fabs means floating point so let me say i want to get the absolute value of uh, 20.9 so it is 20.9 so that will be disregarding this negative means it will be converting or only giving the uh, integer part or the number that's it not the sign likewise exponential exponential of let us say 4.5 remember most of the functions there in math module they return uh, a floating value so now let <coughs> say sign uh, 2 pi so this is what it is so you know sign 2 pi is 0 but it is not showing 0 but if you look this close closely so that is 10 to the power minus 16 so very small so if you want if you want to 
sometime you want to round up something uh, some values so simply write round up to let us say two places of that the, the decimal now you will be able to see zero and uh, likewise you can say cos pi remember this pi the p of this pi should be lower case not the upper case okay so there is another one which we will be often using square root sqrt so square root of 25 is 5 you know but you have to understand at this time is that this function is written in a uh, floating point that is 0.5 it is saying it's not saying uh, 5 sqrt 10 so it is 3.1 something so in this way you can use your math module and at the same time you can uh, solve the problems in hand apart from this there are uh, ceiling function or float function so let me quickly give you a glimpse of it see let us say uh, 2.1 so what this function will be doing is this function will be returning you the closest integer higher to this so it is 2.1 so let us say uh, seal of uh, 4.9 so what should it return it is it should return you 5 and that to an integer value likewise floor uh, 2.3 so it is floating it up means uh, again let us say 2.6 so it is floating it down the removing the uh, decimal part and giving you that particular closest integer which it is or if you want to understand what this function is so you do what you if you want to search for a particular function which is there in a module or what argument it takes how it behaves what it is in fact you so you do what you simply press write the function and then question mark and then shift enter so it will be giving you the information of that particular function so i hope uh, in this particular uh, section i have explained to you that how to uh, import a function now oh, sorry module how to use the functions which are there in module Specifically, I have talked about math because uh, being core engineers, we will be often using trigonometric functions and uh, exponentiations and uh, this uh, square root sort of thing. And that's why this function is somewhat important. But later on, you will be seeing that while I, uh, while I, while drawing some of the graphs, I will not be using this. Instead, I will be using PyLab because PyLab is that particular module which already has this uh, math module inside it and uh, um, your NumPy as well there so that becomes very easy so instead of calling multiple uh, modules I can call sing single one which contains everything so in this lecture till this point only so in the next lecture what we'll be talking about we will be talking about variables what are variables how many types of variables are there and how can we type cast them so thank you very much if you liked it then please do like share and subscribe and uh, till next lecture take very good care of yourself and thank you very much